basically a review of the Ayanta overalls. I just finished these up yesterday and yeah, here they are. So I made size 14 and I used, here's the pattern by the way. This pattern is by Helen's Closet and I made a size 14 and I used 100% cotton and I got this cotton from Target and it's actually a sheet, a bed sheet, um, the flat sheet and I believe I got a size full. So it's a light weight cotton. It kind of looks like a chambray and I have plenty of room in it. The pattern came together pretty nicely. It has pockets in the front, it has a bib pocket, it has front pockets, um, and it has back pockets. And it's made for someone that's 5'6", and 5'6", and what else? Oh, a size B cup, which I am. I mean, I'm like a uh, size uh, <laughs> B, C cup. So that's the size I made. Um, so it will is kind of perfect for me, but it's actually, I think for somebody that's taller than me, it's, it only kind of hits you at the ankles anyway. So on me, I didn't shorten it, but it hits me like right at my feet. So it goes all the way down to my feet, but I have them rolled up, kind of cuffed up because that's how I wanted them anyway. So, um... I didn't want to shorten them before I finished uh, with how they were gonna hit me on my legs. So I like the fit. They're very roomy. This shirt is just a um, ready to wear shirt that I just got from The Gap. And I don't know what size it is, large I think, so it's very roomy. And what else? I did for the most part, half inch seam allowances, but it actually uh, tells you to do five eight seam allowances. So I kind of ran into an issue when it was, when I was putting on the facing for the bib because it has a middle seam. And so I, when I attached the facing, it kind of, the bib was actually sticking out a little bit uh, further past the actual lining because I did the half inch seam allowances. So, but it was like maybe only one eighth of an inch kind of hanging off the side. So I just trimmed it down. And what else did I do? The back facing didn't, because you have to sandwich in the straps into the lining or the bib and the face and the facing. So that was a bit of a challenge as far as where I stitched them in and then how they ended up sitting or ended up hitting. So it's like right here, it was sticking up here, was sticking up uh, past the straps. So, so here you can see where it tells you how to attach the strap and then there's a little a piece sticking out. So I don't know if that's just supposed to be the 5 8 seam allowance. And then once you stitch it up, you just stitch across and you don't have that extra. But how I was doing it or how I had them attached, it was this little extra piece sticking out above the strap. And so I had to go back in and like reverse it out and then stitch it closer to where the strap actually hit. So I did that and it was still a little difficult to get them sandwiched in because here you can see how it has you like pin the straps in down. But because I had my, uh, interfacing in my straps, it wouldn't, I couldn't actually pin them down. So that didn't work. So I just tried to squeeze them together so that I could put the facing on and stitch it in, stitch the facing on there. So this is how it came together where you stitch the facing together to the bib. You're stitching all the way around there and then you reverse that out. It also 
has suggest a zipper um but it tells you like if you can get them on without the zipper you don't have to do the zipper so i didn't do the zipper but i did try them on before i actually uh, finished stitching them together so the zipper would have went here but as you can see i have plenty of room on each side so i was able to wiggle myself in there and get my hips in so i didn't want to bother with the zipper so yeah um i as you can see i did these little knots and instead of buttons so i just tied a little knot here into the strap and stuck it through and i just did just a regular buttonhole on my brother sewing machine and then stuck it through and as you can see it's a bit of a struggle to get it through so it's not coming out yeah so it's not coming out you can see my bib how the pocket comes together and then you stitch it down the center it's a little buckle there but that's okay and then I wish I would have done like the facing in orange as you can see it calls for a lot of edge edge stitching and I did it in orange but I was thinking after I finished I should have did the facing in orange that would have been cute too and let's see if I can show you the pockets in the front and I have my label there so you just go in here and then I also have pockets in the back and you can see it has plenty of room here it kind of has like a cocoon shape so it goes it fits your hips if you're hippy so it fits your hips pretty good the end seam is a little bit snug not in the front as much as in the back so i think next time i'll do longer straps so i'll have a little bit more room because all i need is maybe an inch so if i add an inch to my straps i should have just enough room in the end seam that's how that looks and like i said it goes down to my ankles but I have them rolled up you can't see but I'll stick some pictures in of the full look yeah I like it it's very fun to wear I haven't worn overalls in forever so I love it and then I think I'm also going to at some point make uh, the shorts version so hopefully sometime soon <laughs> um, I'll be able to make the shorts version and or another one of these like maybe get some some other fabric um, or other sheets <laughs> so yeah but I like it so that's pretty much it as far as what I thought about the pattern and how it fits and all that good stuff so um hopefully I'm not missing anything that I ran into my hips are about 44 45 inches uh at my widest point and then the finished the finished measurements for size 14 was 46 inches so like I said I have a little bit extra room and everything else fits fine so all right that's it Bye.